Welcome to our MRS 21 Fall 2021 Oil Technology 2022 now final review. We're in question number two, and please make sure you catch the other videos to get just a little more um, understanding for those, especially those who are out. We've been out for a while for whatever reasons. Um, you're homebound and like just missed out on some of these things here. So, so in each question will probably be a little bit different from the other ones because they're different topics and also. This one asks us to express the following in simplest radical form. And so what we're asked to do is we're asked to simplify the, um, the exponents, right? And then change them into radical form. But we'll do that after we simplify all the, uh, all the, all the X's and all the numbers in this case, right? And so I, I usually tell students in this situation to um, use PEMDAS and say, okay, so with, with the parenthesis, are there any operations that we have to be done in parenthesis? Any and subtracting, multiplying, dividing that has work has to be done in parentheses, and the answer is um no. Only parentheses we have is 16x to the fourth power. And so the next question I ask in this case is going to be, well, all right. So now for exponents, all right. So now we're going to see are there any exponents we have to apply? Uh, well, the numerator has two x to the three halves, which is already x to the three halves. But we have the entire 16x to the fourth all raised to the one fourth power. And so now we're going to Kind of just distribute the exponent here. So our denominator is going to look like 16 to the 1 fourth power times x to the fourth raised to the 1 fourth power. And we're going to simplify those first. Now, if you take 16 to the 1 fourth, what number to the fourth power equals 16? Well, in case you're wondering, in this case, you know, we'll, we'll just uh, start with the smallest, smallest number, not one, because, you know, it's not worked out, but two. Two times two times two times two. Well, two times two is four, times two is eight, times, times two is 16. So 16 to the one fourth power is going to be two. Now, when you raise a power to another power, our power rule for laws of exponents, when you raise a, a number that's already raised a power is raised to another power, we're going to multiply the exponent. And so in this situation, we're going to get, in this case, x to the one fourth, x to the, x to the fourth power raised to the one fourth, four times one fourth is x to the first power, giving us the fraction of two x to the three over two, all over two x to the first power. I guess those are, those fractions are, are exponents in this case, so, you know, it's hopefully well done properly for you guys. And then we have to simplify even further we have taken care of our our work with exponents in this case which when dealing with the consistent work of applying you know kind of like applying exponents we now see in this case that we can divide numbers like two divided by two divides onto one and so now this just becomes x to the three over two over x to the first power which we now apply what's called our quotient rule now quotient rule means when you divide two numbers the same base, we keep the base the same, and we are going to subtract the exponents. So we have numerator exponent minus the denominator exponent. So three halves minus one, that's just x to the one half power. So we're almost done. Okay, so what we have done is we have gone through our motions of PEMDAS, we have gone through uh, parentheses, we didn't find anything, we applied exponents, we then divided, which means in this case simplifying, and now what we have is no more work to do as far as multiplication, adding, extracting, but we have to put this simplest radical form. And so we apply something we learned before, that any x, any number raised to the fractional exponent can be expressed <clears throat> in a radical form, where b is the index, or the denominator is the index. And our numerator is going to be the power of the, uh, for the number underneath the radical, what we call the radicand. And so we apply this to our x to the one half power. That's equal to our index is two because that's our denominator, x to the first power. And this is going to be our simplest radical form. Now, if you wrote this way, this is also fine too, but keep in mind on the actual exam, you might not get just square root of x. 
So I like writing out the denominator and numerator that I have just so that I'm sure I'm putting the numbers in the right place. Because sometimes I put in the wrong place and all, I get all the right work done and they're like, you know, I just throw it away afterwards without forgetting this very important rule for changing a changing a number raised to a fractal exponent into a radical. All right. And uh, that's our answer. Square root of x. Seem very complicated, but we take it step by step. And keep in mind that a lot of these problems, they seem complicated in the beginning, but if you break it down to different pieces, you'll find that it's well within your ability. Hopefully, with a little more practice, you can do more. Okay. And the way to get more practice, uh, definitely, you know, go back to our homeworks, and check it, check there, homework sheets and all, or go online, look at look, check under um, uh, simplifying so uh, x x x uh, um, numbers with fractional exponents convert to radical form or convert radical form into exponential form, and so you can find that as well too. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you found it helpful, please give a like, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, already, please do so. And of course, you know, please leave comments or questions or requests in the comment section below. We really appreciate it here and love to hear from you guys. And all thanks so much for watching. Take care and be safe.